What's up guys? We are here today at Six Flags Food Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey, where we're on the street is they're getting a new roller coaster in 2024. The CEO just confirmed it in an earnings call a couple days ago. There's a lot of rumors out there. So we're gonna check out the area, kind of follow those rumors and see where they take us. The last time the Six Flags Great Adventure added a new roller coaster was Jersey Devil in 2021. So it's not too far-fetched to think that we could be looking at a thrill coaster. So as someone who grew up going to Great Adventure, I am very personally invested in whatever's gonna go here. They posted on Twitter a few days ago that the front entrance area is never gonna look the same, which unless they're redoing the front entrance for the second time in the span of like two years, I'm gonna guess has to do with a roller coaster going here. Right here you can see a Google Earth view of the front entry area for Six Flags Great Adventure. And here we pinpointed three different markers that we found in this area. So they're all to the right side of things. So we're definitely looking at some sort of turnaround, probably the far end of whatever attraction this is. So when you head into the park and you take a right, you're gonna see like the Johnny Rockets, the Ferris wheel after you go past the fountains and everything. You're on a pathway right now that'll lead you over to like the cyborg ride. They actually have an arboretum here now. I think that might be new, but we found another marking for probably another footer or column or something along those lines. And to my left, we have a backstage area for the employees, which in theory could be used for the new coaster if they needed it. So as we've been following this pathway down, we're now here in front of Cyborg. We've seen multiple markings all in a line, so it seems like whatever it is is going to be stretching this direction. Here's where it gets interesting. There is a marker really, really close to Cyborg Cyberspin, which is the ride right behind me, which has never been very popular. It's not even that old of an attraction. There were two built. The other one was at Six Flags Over Texas, which has already been removed. Uh, it's been very problematic, and I think that there's a very good chance that this could be it for Cyborg Cyberspin. We're here on a relatively busy day. It's a Saturday, and there's no one here riding this thing. So if it closes so they can make way for this, then I don't think it'll be very missed. So now we're standing right in front of the little picnic area and there's more markings actually back there and some trees that are set for removal. So given all of the clues we're getting right here, I'm gonna say Cyborg is gone. Let's talk about the rumors. Here's what is going on here. So Six Flags Flies Great Adventure put out a little math equation for us. Four plus 50 plus 48 plus 15 plus 24 plus 10 plus 436, which equals 587, but I don't think that's what they're trying to say. We're getting a polar coaster, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real, I think when you break it down to looking at each individual number, you can tell that each number has meaning and that the total doesn't actually. So we came up with a couple ideas, and so we talked about, okay, four. So that could be like the number of words or letters in the name of the ride, or the number of launches, four launches, 50th. You know, Great Adventure is turning 50 years old next year. So that, I thought. that could be an easy one. 48. Height requirement. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. 15, that's the number of coasters that Great Adventure would have after this. They have 14 as of right now. 24. The year would open? Yeah, we're looking at 2024. 10. I said maybe airtime moments. Oh, okay. I, I don't know, that, that's a tough one. Then this is the one everyone's tripping up about, 436. It's not a height because that would make no sense to have a 456 foot coaster and then one 20 feet shorter right next to it. Yeah. King to cut two. <laughs> I mean, basically, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it could be a length in meters. That'd be about 1,400 something. Mm -hmm. So We saw someone online kind of punch the numbers in, in meters and it looks like these numbers would line up perfectly with a Vacoma Super Boomer, which Hello, I, that was not on my bingo list. No, it wasn't, but that would actually work. So it'd be four total inversions, 50 meters tall, the 15th coaster at the park, 24 seats per train, and then the length of track. And that would also make sense with what the CEO said. They said this was a rather last minute addition to Six Flags Great Adventure. And it would be identical to the one that already exists, so there's not a whole lot of work that goes into exactly. you know, making it. <laughs> it's a copy and paste. The only thing is, Oh, they'd have to add a turntable. There's no way that this would work for capacity in this park otherwise. One train at Six Flags Great Adventure. That's tough. Yeah. But it, tough. it would be cool because right now the only other one that exists is in China. So yes. it would be unique to 99.9% .9 of people who would be riding this thing. Exactly. So it would definitely be really cool to look at, but you know, being at the front of the park, that's where you usually have the most lines. So hopefully they figure out a way to make that work, but that seems to be the most likely option. Originally we were thinking like Intamin, even though, you know, They've already have two problematic intimates in the 
Park, so but they, not. They might be building an Intamin at Six Flags Over Georgia. So yeah. if that's the case, then you know Six Flags is back to working with Intamin again. So I'm not saying that the boomerang is like the hard evidence, but I'll tell you what, it would also work with the layout. How we were talking about how it could be very long and stretched yeah. out. It would fit. And this park needs a launch coaster desperately because all we have right now is King of Cod and most people are scared of it. Yeah. So let's assume that we are looking at a Vacoma Super Boomerang. While it would make a ton of sense, it still leaves some of these markers unanswered. Why are there so many around Cyborg if it's primarily going to hug the edge of the front gate? It's such a skinny layout that even with the addition of a station, gift shop, and plaza, there'd still be room left over. The only logical explanation I could come up with is that we're looking at more than one ride. Which is totally possible. You throw in some family flat rides from like Zamperla or something. It could be a nice little fleshed out area. But enough about what we think. Let's hear what El Toro Ryan has to say. So, I mean, the rumor have been all over the place so originally I was hearing of an intimate multi-launch would be coming um, and then of course we heard stuff about it coming to the front gate and now that it might be this Vacoma super boomerang I mean that's pretty cool too I was kind of hoping for like a larger project but it is cool that it's like the first in the United States um, something of interest too is the park did previously have a boomerang coaster right over there actually on Batman and Robin the Chiller but of course we, there were two of them so you know it's not going from two to kind of one so, I mean, we'll see, you know, how you know, hopefully Sarah said the, the turntable will be awesome to help increase the capacity. I know on that ride, Bacoma says there's like 800 riders per hour, and that's a theoretical. So, you know, with that, it's probably like a super quick load time to actually get that number. So we're probably looking closer, maybe like 500 or 600 riders per hour, which like Taylor said, a great adventure. I mean, yeah, we'll see. But I mean, it's a cool concept, and hopefully it's got really, really good airtime. Those new Bacomas look awesome. So there's the big leading rumor. I think it'll be super interesting to see what happens. If it does end up being true, a new Vacoma in the Six Flags chain. You know, we're seeing one now in Cedar Fair with Kings Island. So this would be big, you know? Well, literally big because, you know, all the ones that we've seen thus far are all for kids. This would be for, for the grown-ups. This is the, this would be the third Vacoma boomerang in the U.S. in 2024. We're not saying this is 100%. Honestly, if Great Adventure puts out more teasers and it looks like that isn't a possibility, then I think that we could still be seeing some other stuff. I, you know, Intamin is not out of the cards yet. So there you have it, guys. Let us know. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, and thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next time.